Okay, okay guys, um, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Samsung Gear VR, which comes with this controller right here. And I'm going to try and give my honest opinion. <clears throat> I've had this about, for about a week now, and uh, I have, I've had some quite fun with it. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's not perfect, of course, it's, it is for um, a smartphone. So, you can't really expect the quality you get from the HTC Vive or the Sony PlayStation VR. With well, that said, oh, by the way, I'm running this, um, I'm using the Samsung uh, S8, Galaxy S8 with this, so I'm probably getting what the most I've, I can out of this Gear VR. The screen resolution might be uh, lower on the previous phones, but um, yeah, with well, that said, um, <clears throat> well, what to say, what to say? Well, first of all, Basically, you clip your phone on the back of the um, v Gear VR. Um, it, it is like, look, if you can see right here, it connects with the USB 3, uh, sorry, USB C um, connector. So you clip your phone and then it, it fits quite nice. It doesn't, it's not loose or anything, so you can move around freely. Um, nothing wrong with that. And then basically, you look through here. And one good thing is that it really is lightweight. I mean, I didn't have any trouble putting it on at all. This fits my head really comfortably as well. You can adjust it, of course. And it's just so lightweight. I mean, if if I let go of this, it'll probably float off. Nah, I'm joking. Um, but, yeah. Regarding the weight, um, nothing, nothing much to point out. <laughs> um, and I was actually surprised about the quality of... The actual experience you can get with this thing. Um, so basically, this the, your phone, as I said earlier, you clip it in here and you look through. And basically, what you're doing is you're looking at the um, the phone screen like through these lenses. So the picture isn't like as you would see. It's not. It's nothing like 4K, but it's um, it's acceptable. You can see like if you look really closely, um, you, there are, there are like um, small pixelated dots, but it's, um, yeah, it might be bothersome for some people, but I'd, I, you, I wouldn't really um, use it for a long period. Um, I think it's it's best to take a break between each half hour. Yeah, I mean, you can hurt your eyes, and you might get a headache, like I did, but um, the experience is actually very good. I mean... You know, 360 uh, vision works properly, and it really feels like you're in the um, the game or movie or whatever you're watching. Um, so yeah, that was really good. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You have to um, use apps through the Oculus uh, Store. It's a dedicated store for this, so you can't play any um, Google app, Google Play Store games. <laughs> So there's a dedicated app which you install automatically when you put when you start using this. So yeah, that's about it. Um yeah, I was very surprised. I'm playing horror games on this is really scary. I mean, really. It really feels like you're inside the um the VR world. So they've done a great job with that. Um it's cheap. It's not expensive. I got it for like like what 50 pounds or something. And this controller is quite yeah it's good it's good it's not perfect but it's good i mean if if you're new to vr and you've got a samsung phone samsung uh, s a s was it s 6 and above then you should get this okay it's the quickest and cheapest way to get into vr and it's good quality all right with that said that finishes this video thanks for watching and i hope you found it help helpful yeah cheers bye bye